whether you're, you're going through medical school or whatever it is, you realize that it's all about efficiency. So uh, <clears throat> say you're doing open heart surgery or you're um, giving someone CPR. It's about just focusing, getting done exactly what you have to do um, in the most efficient way to thus save a life. And so that's all about when you're right there with a patient. But then comes into play seeing things that hurt your heart every single day or however often that happens. Someone passes away, you know, you don't, you don't save the person's life. They die right there in front of you. And then comes into play how you cope with that. <laughs> you know, Daniel's planning on using the fact that I was in therapy and on antidepressants as proof that I'm mentally unstable. Screw Daniel. We're strong enough. We'll handle whatever he throws our way. Well, a lawyer did say there was another option. What? We could offer 50-50 custody. You will see a lot of these firemen, these squad guys, these truck guys, engine guys, and these paramedics, they um, are super bright. They know exactly what to do in an emergency, but they see such hard and horrible things that they get this sort of sense of humor and this uh, coping mechanism to sort of just let things not, if you let it get to you, if you let it hurt your heart constantly, you'll just be eaten alive by the profession. So these guys are actually really funny, hysterical, and very bright. Dawson, come on in. This is Detective Dan Viking from Narcotics. Very sorry to hear about Antonio. We got damn near every cop in this city out looking for who shot him. Good enough. Antonio was looking for the leader of the crew that's been putting out the bad drugs. He talked to you about that? Because I know you had a conversation with him right before he was shot. You have to become almost desensitized emotionally a little bit just so that you can cope because what they're seeing, they're seeing tragedy every single day. And so they have to figure out a way to, to laugh. To laugh, yeah, to be happy, to figure out how to keep, a, keep, keep their light. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a, it's, a really, it's a really complex psyche that, that they have. He said that guys from narcotics were being territorial and didn't want a guy from Vice taking his collars, so he was doing twice the work. <laughs> Let's have an honest conversation. Let's. You know, we're, we're doing a lot of physical stuff every day. Sometimes we're going into uh, car accidents, a middle of the bridge, uh, going to fires. It, they deal with all kinds of trauma and accidents, saving people out of, you know, who are hanging on buildings or maybe jumpers. And so your energy, you know, mentally and physically, it has to be kept up. You have to stay in shape both ways. You have to be aware all the time because people's lives are at stake and you don't want to make a mistake because your mistake could be the, at the cost of someone's life. I know Daniel will take it. You know, and then we could just end all of this and focus on being a family. There's so many times where you might want to stop and, and, and cry and you can't. You know, Monica and I could see something that just guts us or that scares us. Maybe you don't want to run into the burning building. I know uh, some firemen struggle with that uh, quite a bit, but it's just you get you have to get over it in training. It's like um, my dad's a surgeon, and I remember him telling me a story. Like, it's very common in medical school where people, they want to be a doctor. They're, they're bright enough. They got it all, and they hate to make the cut. Like, they just don't want to make the cut with a scalpel. And I think we can all on this show kind of relate to that as an analogy. It's like you got to just, you got to make the cut you know we've got to do our medical procedures the guys have to run into the building and you have to sort of ignore your fight-or-flight instincts mm -hmm. we don't want to as a humans we don't want to run into burning buildings but we have to that's our job um, and so that's mental training it's more mental training than anything